Hi, I'm Travis Zimmerman of Speak My Word Ministries, and today's Daily Pulse is about being Jesus. And, you know, I shared in the previous Daily Pulse that I was invited by our choir director to be Jesus Christ for our church's Easter production, and I prayed about it with Suzanne and decided to do it. And we definitely sensed the Holy Spirit indicating it was okay to do it. So, you know, the beards come in, and we had a first practice yesterday, a lot of fun, but it's very humbling to play Jesus Christ, as you might imagine. I mean, I'm not Jesus. I'm a very poor representation of Jesus. I mean, not only in my looks, but also in my actions mostly, and in my heart, a very, very dirty heart. But it, sometimes, you know, you can see that poor representation come with a story. You know, here's a story that my, my buddy John Webster shared about his son, Ryder. John shared with Ryder last week, <laughs> and John texted me this. He shared with Ryder that Mr. Travis is going to be playing Jesus. And Ryder said, to, he whispered to his dad, he said, Hey, Dad, Mr. Travis is bald. <laughs> Almost like Mr. Travis doesn't know that he's bald. You know, wigs can do amazing things. But as you play Jesus, you know, you're, you're just reminded of a scripture that comes up in, in John chapter 13, verse 16. For I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. John chapter 13, verse verse 16. And as I haven't played in any productions yet, but we just did our first practice. But as you as you represent Jesus, you it's very humbling. And I haven't even been beaten up by the Roman guards yet. But you just, even this past week when we were in Florida with my, with Irma, like the Irwin family reunion, even in Florida, as you're growing a beard and you're, and you're recognizing you're going to play Jesus, there's, there's pressure. You, you think about, you know, let me make sure I act like Jesus because I'm, I'm trying to look like Jesus. You know, you wear the cross. Jesus didn't wear a cross. He, he, he really did wear a cross, not around his neck. He wore it on his back and his arms and his, and his hands and his feet. But as you're, as, as you're representing Jesus, you know, it's one more way as a Christian you realize, oh my goodness, you know, I do not measure up to my Lord. And thank God for his Holy Spirit that he comes each and every day with the Holy Spirit that walks with us every single day and guides us in all righteousness. So I was down there in Florida and, and a lot of my in-laws were there. I was thinking, boy, if I, if I slip up with a word or if I say something or I have a, you know, I'm going to sin. There's, there's, and I did many times, you know, you just think, well, that guy thinks he's Jesus, you know, and what a hypocrite. And that's difficult for us Christians because, you know, we Christians aren't perfect. We're forgiven and we're forgiven in Jesus Christ. So the lesson I'm learning is, you know, we, we don't have to be Jesus. We, we're, we're to imitate Jesus, and the Holy Spirit helps us be like Jesus. But we're not Jesus, and we're not even supposed to be Jesus because he came. He's the first, the last, the beginning, and the end, everything we ever want to be. And now it's given to us through the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for your son, Jesus, in your name. Amen.